Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited. I can't even sit still. Be right back. Just got a marathon to smash. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that? Just listen carefully. That is the sound of my heartbeat beating a little bit quicker than usual because race week is here. Ba -ba -ba. As you can see, I stayed true to my Instagram uh, voting poll and I got the race week highlights in the hair. Uh, a couple more carbs in the body and we are good to go. Just received my racing kit bag over here with my sticker, well, post-race bag over here. Um, so it is literally around the corner. A few people have asked me why I'm targeting a sub 220. So um, just to remind you, my last marathon, uh, which was about five, six months ago, I did in 224. And I thought where to from there, the next thing has to be a sub 220. So asking to knock off four minutes and six seconds off my marathon time um, at this sort of level is a huge, huge, huge ask. But you know what? It was the next step. And if we don't try, we won't know. So we are going out there um, and we're gonna have no regrets. And it is a huge, huge ask, but I've put in the work and just hopefully it's enough work to, to get us across in 219.59. And there's so many people I would like to thank that have helped me along this journey and supported me so much throughout this journey. Um, most of which has to be my wife, Taryn, honestly. She's also doing London Marathon, which is incredible. Um, just 10 months after having Hayley and without her, um, there's no ways I would have been able to get through the training. Obviously doing 100 mile weeks takes up so much of your time and that excludes all the strength and conditioning and foam rolling and physio work and so on and so forth. She's been an incredible mom and had to get through training herself. So without a doubt, I need to thank her the most. Um, seriously, she's incredible. And uh, a lot of people have asked me, how is it possible to get through all of this training um, with a full-time job and a 10 month old? And the answer is I have a wife like Taryn. It helps so much. She's been so supportive. So seriously, thank you for that. So just to recap some of the training that's gone on before we tackle this marathon. Um, it's crazy to think over the last eight weeks, 100 mile weeks pretty much became the norm. Um, my two biggest achievements throughout the block, the first of which was uh, the big half and coming 15th overall that was just massive to me and the next one was going 1446 at Dulwich Park Run um, so PB 5k just before the marathon all the signs are there the training is there um, it's never in the bag but I would say we stand a chance that's for sure um, and yeah I think the three biggest training sessions that stick out for me by miles the first one is the three times 10ks that I did uh, finishing 40Ks in, in total, um, progressing through each 10K. That was a huge one for me, the biggest training session I've ever done. Um, the next biggest one was the four by five kilometers, finishing off with the park run, which was the fourth uh, five kilometer set. And once again, progressing each one as we go along. And the other one, which I did on very, very tired legs, was probably the physically and mentally hardest of them all, was the Canova over under session. Um, that was when I tried to hit marathon pace on the unders, which I could. And on the overs, I was meant to be 10, 10 seconds a case slower, uh, which progressively got a little bit slower, but we kept the sharpness there. We got through all the training. We are in one piece. We couldn't ask for more. Um, seriously, I know I've said this a lot, but thank you to every single person out there that's given me support and encouragement. It's literally given me fuel throughout this journey and nothing in life is ever guaranteed. Um, but what I would say is we stand a chance come Sunday and I can guarantee you that I will leave absolutely nothing out there. I mean, you know that already, but I will push harder than I've ever pushed. I will dig deeper than I've ever pushed. I will go off at that sub 220 target pace. What will be, will be. Um, this block's been incredible. Um, I've already achieved so many personal achievements from this and it is finally go time. Come on, literally time to get carbs in the body, the head in the game and give it our best shot. Come on.